Hey guys, Glitch here, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where I apparently have to figure out how to get all these people back to, um, whatever this place was called again. Um, <laughs> I, I really forget already, but, oh, lag, okay, thank you. What was this place called again? Edgewater, that's, okay. I need to go to Edgewater and talk to Reed about them coming back. So, I also have side missions with them. What happened? Um. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, Miss Parvati. <laughs> You're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Well then. Uh, never too late to start learning. Maybe you should come clean. Um, maybe you should come clean. I mean to. I mean to do right by my friends, too. They believed I was an engineer, and so I'll make an engineer out of myself. Uh, of course Have you, you will. Heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept the copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Got it. Would you? I'd be grateful. Can't survive without power. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Oh, well, that works. So, I'll do that for him. Who else did I need to talk to? You. Oh, wait. You're the one who was mean to me when I first came here, weren't you? <laughs> Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Time to go back to Edgewar. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. Wait, who's Zoe? Don't tell me you're scared of a few marauders. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Cool. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. And I'll leave that be. So, I can either go talk to Reed, which I really should do, but I want to complete the side mission, so... It's this one, right? Yep, well, got a double hit. There we go. Oh, her house is literally over here. Okay. Also, chicken. I can talk to it, too. Apparently, I'm a weirdo talking to chickens. Well... A chicken. There's only 
one, so that's cool. All right, well, my, oh, apparently I'm looking for the things that light up in blue. Say that's it then, no more edge war for me, no more cannery, no more jumpsuits and gloves, yes ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down, for posterity's sake, because I've always hated the cannery, I don't know, or I don't think I'll ever have to look back to the show many years hence. So it's because I got sick, everyone, everybody gets sick. Alright, so... You're committing larceny? Oh! Okay, cool. I'm not going to fully read all these things if I don't have to, but I'll leave them up long enough if you guys want to pause and read them, but I'm just going to go over them. Oh! She, uh, <laughs> she wanted to become a marauder, apparently. Watch, uh, uh, this is gonna be great. Look out, Terror 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. Alrighty, then. So, we're going to look for Zoe, who apparently became a marauder. That's smart. How many people I'm going to have to kill? Because I should probably switch to... Yeah, get some distance shots, just in case. I need more ammo for this, though, because... 16 is not good enough. Actually, it, it looks clear. Oh, wait, nope. They just took a while to spawn in. Alright. I did half of his health. That is nice. Oh, there's one more. Headshot. There we go. 92? Damn. Okay. Heavy ammo. Nice. Give me all the heavy ammo. I need what I can get. Where's your body? Oh, there's another one here. Did you just, like, randomly die? Alright. So be it. Doesn't look like there's anyone else so far, but... That 92 headshot was amazing. Oh, there's another... Alright. Crouch mode. Two. Three enemies, technically. By the looks of... Whoa, wait. Oh, okay, that's broken down. I'm not seeing anyone else right now, so... Let's see if I can... Damn it, of course you're moving. All right. Damn it. Oh, oh, okay. Um, first of all, way too many that just come out of nowhere. I always forget. Slow down time when I can. Oh, you came out of nowhere. There we go. Wait, where'd they all go? What? There were so many, and then there were none. What happened? Um. Okay. Oh. Okay, that thing sucks. There we go, you're down. Time slow down. Headshots for days. 
Oh, that was Zoe, apparently. Don't worry, I'm just looting these bodies before talking to you. <laughs> wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. How about no? You, you sound confused or possibly unscrewed. <laughs> You're Zoe, your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Why would you even want to be an outlaw? I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. I hope so. Uh, why did you leave camp? How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Doubtful. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. So, you gave them drugs. I got kicked cool. out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. That doesn't sound too bad. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I haven't sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I literally just killed your whole army. And you think this is where you belong? I can't imagine you're happy out here. I can't use it though. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'll be back. Um... I can't do anything with her until... Okay, what's in my codex? Hold on. I hate... When things randomly pop up and you have no clue where they are. Oh, that's... Okay. Cool. Um... Where's my skills? My persuade's only 20. So I can't do anything with her until I get it up to 30. Cool. Alright, well, um... I will be back then. I need to do this one. So... I'll go talk to Reed, and then hopefully I'll level up, because that's the one thing I hate those, when you don't have like the levels to do something, so you literally have to grind in order to complete the quests. Or you know, I could just kill random marauders. You guys suck because of your armor, but I can easily break through it. There we go. Aha! That's how I do it. Okay, I can make her target people. Awesome. So it's Z for them to... Oh, wait. No, it's X for them to target. Z does something. And then C also does something, but for some reason, I can't use it yet. Alright. I'm slowly learning the mechanics and everything. Do I even need to check any of these? I could loot, but I'm just going to continue with the story, because why not? You're empty. 
I say I'll continue with the story. Yeah, I check every body to make sure I have as much loot as I can. There are a lot of marauders here. Jesus. All right. I could have probably fast traveled here, but meh. Gotta give my character some exercise. <laughs> Yo, what? I just saw a behemoth. Yeah, um, nope. Let's not mess with anything that's called a behemoth. Because as I've learned from Fallout, that is never good. Alright. Reed is all the way up there. Th I didn't realize how far up that was last time. Jesus. Alright. Up we go. These elevators are so weird though. And hi, Parvati. <laughs> I just turn around, you're there. That's creepy. This one thing I hate about companions in games is they just appear out of nowhere. Alright, Reed. Let's talk. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Never. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. You mean letting people die because they're sick? And you don't have enough medicine? Which I highly doubt, but... Change of leadership might be what this town needs. I'm a Spacer's Choice Man. My father was a Spacer's Choice Man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Wow, buttoned-up freelancer? That stings. I could attack him, but... I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. You are a horrible person if you think that... Well, I mean... I guess he runs a corporation... So, that makes sense. Town doesn't eat anything but Saltuna. Of course, you're gonna get sick. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. I would run away from this place too, then. That's just horrible. Pretty sure that's what's making your people sick. There I we go. Understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Well, apparently your company sucks. Adelaide's found a way to grow food. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Dead bodies. She isn't using human corpses in her fertilizer. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. And you never researched anything? Um... Let's go with this one. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Take care. <laughs> I don't care to talk to him anymore. He went from being a straight up asshole to my life is over because of this. So, yeah, you you suck, Reed. Seriously. I'm not going to steal anything. 
This time, I am going to... Oh, wait. Codex. What now? Oh. Some people may require complete another quest before they will assist you. You can check your quest log for dependencies. Oh. Okay. I, I guess. I... Sure. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to fast travel quickly because it seems easier. Alright, there we go. I have realized though that this game would have been easier to stream, but... I'd rather record because it's just easier. All depends on the game though, I guess so. Adelaide, you can go back. Look at that. The snakes come back. I am not a snake. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Cool. Got it. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Well, you take care on that. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was quick. <laughs> Companion perks. Yay. Okay, that... Wow. Did not need to pop up like that, but sure. Cool, I can level up. So, let's put a lot into dialogue. Finish this off, and then dialogue. Cool. Apply. And now I can give for body. Ooh. Increase your engineering skill on Parvai is in the party. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies. Making them less like... Ooh, that's cool too. Increase the amount. Or increase... Uh, I'm going to go with this because why not? Alright. Cool. Got it. So is there anything else I actually need to do aside from convince her to return even though I can't? I can actually do these now that I think about it. But I will go back to the unreliable and put in the power regulator. Alright. Such a big ship in a small ass area. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Okay, well, first of all, you scared shit out of me by just popping up in front of me. But let's go with this one. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Why the hell not? Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. She is so happy about that. Okay. In we go. So let's... Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. 
Cool. What can I do for you, Captain? Got the regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? No. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Good morning, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I like how she got so sassy about that one. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I guess I have some knowledge of what I'm doing. Not enough knowledge, though. <laughs> I'm literally just winging half of this shit because I don't know what's going on. There we go. Yeah, power regulator. I, I hate that mask on Parvati. Because it just keeps reminding me of a Marauder. Do I actually have any more? Um, what does she currently have on? Low pressure helmet. Uh, I only have mining helmets. I can probably give her better armor though. Yeah, let's give her the... There we go. Oh, wow. She, yep. Yep, she's a Marauder now. Up, oh, up. Oh. Parvati, I I hope you like it. <laughs> it's all a weapon here too. Toss bosh stick, nice. All right, cool. What can I do for you, Captain? I think we are good to go. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Cool. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's an actual cutscene for this? How is this thing even holding itself together? We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. This better be quick. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells' personality, that seems highly unlikely. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I've been feeling a little lightheaded, also I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Got it. Okay. Why do I need a nav key? To yeah, wait, yeah, that- why? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Cool. Got it. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Cool. I'll put it to good use. I don't care what Excellent. it is. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. 
If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Okay, that was interesting. Where are the captain's quarters? Upstairs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should have just looked for the marker. Oh. That's... Holographic shall protect- Oh, projects the skies on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas. Provide you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to all unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Cool. Okay. Oh, I- I leveled up again, apparently. Okay. So, put as much- Ooh. Leadership and dialogue. Why not? There we go. Oh, melee power attacks. Company powers not to be wasted on personal projects. Charge up during standard attack or prepare a strong sweep attack. Awesome. Dialogue combat skills. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically... Okay. Cool. Um... Ooh, new sp more sprint speed. Um, fast travel when encumbered. Yes, because I pick up everything. <laughs> um, where is this stupid thing? There's one, two, three. Thank you. All right. Well, this has been. Interesting. Why do I have? Alex deserves dream of independent life without board oversight. You taught them an important lesson: never dream. <laughs> oh wait, do I get random things the more stuff I do? Cause that would be cool. All right. Well, um, I guess that's interesting. But yeah, we are above the planet, and that looks so cool. We do need to move on to another planet, though. I could go back and complete more of the side quests, but I'll do that some other time because I'm going with this here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.